Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. Now served as an appetizer. I'm Odin Spec 33. What are the six god generals after? What are those organized up to? We're talking about starting a war. They're not trying to start a war. No, they're like, they're moving independently under someone's orders. Arya could probably tell us more. Does she knows anything? She didn't strike me as a secret orders person. Well, she says she was following Ash's instructions in Kaisor. You mean Ash are bloody? Oh no, we feared to sell it ourselves. Yeah, it won't matter if we get Iron Colonel back to Balakal. For the war. Won't be able to do anything. Yeah. Alright, so it's been uh, quite a while since you saw me play this game. Uh, I've noticed I am a little higher level than I was last time, level 18. I was around level 11 and 12, I believe. Learned a whole bunch of new skills, but let's just practically put them to use uh, instead of me just going over them. And by practical, I mean boss fight? Yeah, boss fight. I'm not falling for that again. Luke, you're amazing! Not bad for you. Oh, give it a rest. You shot fire at my friend! I'm really gonna make you pay now. Shut up already! You've caused enough trouble, you little brat. I don't care! I'm going to kill you all and take back Ion! You killed Mommy! Now you die! Alright guys, uh, anytime you fight uh, a boss akin to the level of the god generals, you usually get a little intro cutscene. Usually when you fight a boss you can talk, that's usually the case. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kiting Arietta, uh, enticing her into attacking me. Because, uh... I can dodge attacks, whereas computer players aren't usually so smart as to do this, so... And I don't know what Tyr is doing, uh, not, uh, casting spells. But you notice, uh, Overlimit happened. You haven't seen Overlimit yet. This happens when you get to level 15. It's a little bar that fills up. Oh god, she's casting Crimson Riot. And it's not on me. You're you're so dead, dear. Okay, so we need to we need to bust out a life bottle on Tyr here. And any any day now, Anis, you can. Well, I almost walked right into that. Oh. Oh, she used it. She got it off evil light. I knew it too. I heard her say no, and then I'm like, oh, that's I'm done. I'm so done. Uh, Evil Light is one of her mystic arts. We actually haven't seen a mystic art in this game yet. But, uh... Alright. Alright, and there's a photon burst. Fo field of phonon burst. <laughs> and there's another field of phonon burst. <laughs> and there's Big Bang. Here's her second mystic art. If you magic guard against it, you won't take uh, as much damage. 
and uh, and you won't get staggered. So. Okay. As so long as you keep using stuff on me, I should be fine. As you notice, we're really, really hurt here. Kind of hoping Tear is gonna start busting out spells. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, she's got 800, 885 hit points left. Sorry, it's really hard to focus in this fight. Yeah, I think she's targeting me. Okay, and without Tear, unfortunately, we're not gonna win. Okay. I got her staggered, that's all that matters. She's done. She's done. She's not done. Come on, finish her! There we go. Okay. Now we got Liger left. Look how much hurt he is already. Just based on me doing damage to him and spells hitting him, he's already half done. Uh, he's the target to go after next for sure. Notice Jade's energy blasted 372 damage, and that just did 400 damage. So pretty much, uh... Yeah. <laughs> just keep these guys kited. Uh, it's not really hard to do. Now that Arietta's gone, we don't have to worry about any more spell casting. Thankfully. And this guy should go down in no time. Notice we've already knocked down uh, 2,000 hit points off him. Alright. It's really hard to talk in this fight. There's so much stuff going on. But the strategy I used is uh, have everyone casting magic except for one character, which is the character you're using. Uh, because the computers won't dodge stuff, but they're going to be your main uh, source of attacks. And with Anna's casting limited and Arietta casting limited, there's so many light fields, you're going to get so many field of phonon bursts, like this. Dragon Tempest, which is Void Tempest, a movie you haven't seen yet. Uh, and it looks really cool. So, uh, Horesvalger, or however the heck you pronounce that, he's almost done. I'm going to use the basic, uh, keep someone in a corner and pound the living crap out of him technique. Just be careful when he does that move there. Alright, and now we're gonna... Oh, he ran away. And he's done. Oh man. That that fight went much smoother than it normally does. <laughs> so, guy learned uh, combo force, which is uh, basically... Sh sh a long story short, he does more damage. <laughs> So, Guy leveled up, uh, Tyr leveled up, Anis did not, uh, Jade did, and Luke did. So I should have, I don't have the proper capacity core on Luke, I think, so probably should have changed that. But who cares? I knew letting her live would come back to haunt us. Wait, I'll take Arietta back for an inquiry before the Order of Lorelei. So please, don't take her life. Yes, that would be best. Master? There was no word of the Phone Master's arrival in Kitesur, so I came here just in case. I'm sorry, Van. There's no point in dwelling on what's already been done. I'll take Arietta into my custody. Is that all right with you? Yes, please do, and please treat her wounds. How do you plan to explain her crimes to His Majesty and the military? We will follow proper order procedure, punish her, and issue a report. That's how lawful society operates. I have soldiers and a coach from Count Almondine, the Kitesur commander. I'll escort the maintenance chief home as well. What will you do, Ion? I'd prefer you to come with me, but... It seems some of us are interested in this castle, but... I want to walk back. Once we get on the ship, we'll be back in Batical in no time anyway, right? Well, the route does have us stopping in Kessedonia along the way. It sounds like we'd prefer to walk, so we'll catch up to you later. 
Understood. Please take care. All right. We got that fight over with. I'm sorry I wasn't talking a whole lot. That fight, or, or if I was talking it made no sense. <laughs> because that fight, there's just so much stuff going on. But basically, if you notice, Arya had really high physical defense. Which is why only using one attacker, Guy or Luke, is very useful. Now, you might have noticed me using a skill during the fight called Center. Uh, this basically is a free healing to Guy. It's a very helpful move. And that's why I prefer to use him in situations like that instead of Luke. Because as of right now, no spoilers, Luke doesn't have a way of doing that. So, that's why Guy is really useful for that point. But, uh... Yeah. Alright, we can put a good capacity core on Anis now. Oh, she already has still. Oh no, uh, Guy was the one who got messed over there. Oh well, agility on him is fine. And he got combo for us anyway, so that's good. Alright, <laughs> now I can set everyone back to how... Actually, I'm not going to do that yet, because actually, if you watch my little update video, uh, that kind of dates this video, my spring update. <laughs> um, but uh, I said there would be two boss fights in this uh, video, and that's no lie, there will be two boss fights in this video. I'm just going to avoid all the regular fights on the way back. Sorry if... Uh, Sorry if you're interested in watching some uh, regular fights, but I think boss fights are way cooler. <laughs> I've been running around as Anis just because, you know, why not? There's no reason not to. I'm going to change up uh, who my on-screen avatar is uh, probably like once a video. Oh, looks like uh, we got to fight some gremlins. So now I can show you... Uh, an arcane art called Demon, uh, Moonlight Demon. Arcane arts can be linked after base ones, so you can do combos like Crescent Strike and then Moonlight Demon. One of my favorite early uh, game combos. It does uh, eat away at the TP though. Technical points. Whoa! Okay, and I kind of forgot that I shouldn't be using moves like that because <laughs> I got a boss fight coming up. <laughs> I need all the tech points I can get. Alright, so, uh, I am gonna orange gel. Actually, wait. This increases technical points, right? Uh, we're gonna give it to... Uh, Anis. Alright, because she doesn't have a lot. That should be good there. Alright, now I'm going to off screen some saving, so I'm going to see you guys in a second. Alright, now this next fight coming up here could be even tougher than what we just did. Uh, this is a completely optional fight too, that you can skip if you ac if you go to the... The reason I chose to walk back is so that I could do this fight. Because if you take the coach back, you can miss this. You can come back at later and do it, but I think there's a point where if you don't do it by then, then it just disappears and then you can't... A, this involves a side quest, and you won't be able to do it again. So let's battle, yeah. The cool thing about this is if you lose, you don't die. So this is the sword dancer. I haven't actually scanned him yet, so uh, let's uh, scan him up. He's got 34,000 hit points. Uh, he's got huge physical attack. However, his defense is, although it doesn't really, can't really tell there, they are actually really weak. You can do some damage to this guy. Which is why uh, my mages are going to wreck some havoc on them. As you notice, uh, how much damage have they already done? They did about a thousand damage. Okay, so I got them stunned, so I'm going to take advantage of this. Alright, so that was a 3,000 uh, damage combo. I'm, I'm going to keep him, I'm going to keep the boss over here. I don't want him anywhere near my mages. So anytime he gets stunned, I'll go in for an attack. So like right now, he's about to get stunned. Because I know, I know Photon for sure will stun. Limited usually has a pretty good chance too. Okay. Uh, Tyr, you need to get out of there right now. Alright, so Photons should stun him for long enough. 
Let's move uh, that one, Storm. If you don't, if you're not blocking, you are dead. So I need to get uh, up right now. And he has that move called Fang. That's like Super Demon Fang right there. And good thing he he overlimited because I would have died just there. All right, so I don't want him facing any of my mages. And I'm not gonna attack him while he's in overlimit because he's not gonna get stunned. So I'm just gonna run him around in circles. Okay, I can't. As soon as he starts looking at one of your other teammates, you gotta go in there. It's it can be scary, but you gotta do it because they're gonna do the damage. And you should keep in mind that your overlimit skill can save you in a clutch. It'll stun anything, except uh, for Mystic Arts. You can't cancel Mystic Arts. But this guy don't have Mystic Arts, so it's okay. I don't know how we're doing. I hope we're doing pretty good right now. I don't like Tyr going into fight here. I don't know if I should be having Jade uh, using uh, Energy Blast. Although, with uh, Anis's limited, uh, he should be able to get some uh, Field of Phonon bursts. Alright. Oh man, I got hit? No, oh, I got hit again. Okay, so we need to get up here real fast again. I guess you notice I have a whole bunch of items. <laughs> um, that was from a lot of uh, grinding. I went back to St. Bina and bought items at really reduced prices. Because, and I'm obviously fully equipped. Oh, I can't believe I got a range of that. Okay. No, no, get up. I can't use an item. I don't want to kill this guy either. This guy grants you so much experience. Uh, that, okay. He grants you so much experience that you're gonna gain maybe a level or two. But, he, okay, he's not anywhere near dead. Come on. Man, look at all these life bottles I'm using. This looks awful. Get up! I'm almost out, too. on. I wish there was a quick way to use these that didn't involve going into the menu. Okay. I think I might have him now. He's, he's, he's kind of looking this way. I need him stunned. I need to do some damage. There we go. Alright, so Tyr learned Roll and Lucky End and it's learned Combo Force. Jade learned Roll. Luke learned Guardian. I think we just got two levels that fight, yeah. Everyone just got two levels, because <laughs> we were at level 19, I think. Or maybe, no, no, we were at level 20, right? I don't know. I think we were at level 19, to be honest. Uh, so that's the sword uh, dancer. Uh, sorry, that was a pretty uh, awful looking fight based on all those life bottles I used, but he's not that difficult in terms of like, you just gotta kite him around. It's not really hard to do. Alright. So, he said he'll wait our, our next encounter, which means that we're not done with him. But this is gonna mark the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this action-packed Tales of the Abyss episode. I'll see you guys next time for more. So, bye.